Well, a little update on my 54 F100 project. I haven't done this in a bit. And uh, pretty happy about where I'm at on this. I'm going to give a little quick walk around. Then a quick drive. And then if you hang on to the end, you can hear all the, the gory detail on uh, what I've accomplished since the last video. So, anyway. Got the cab on, obviously, and uh, several things on the engine hooked up, and got the seat in it, and brakes working, and two controls on the dash there done, ready to go, ignition, and uh, old vacuum windshield wipers. One thing I was worried about a little bit was the drive shaft. Got that made for 120 bucks, and. Uh, Got that ready to go. So uh, anyway, we will get in, do a little drive here, and uh, obviously haven't got the doors done yet, and it's kind of noisy, so this has to go along for the ride here. And uh, yeah, starter is a little bit uh, sticky. Don't forget about it. So, uh, a few of the details. Brakes. Okay. Started out with a 77 Chevy master cylinder and booster, as well as the residual valve down there. And the residual valve didn't work. Front left brake seized up on it, wouldn't release. So, I went and got a master cylinder booster off a 85 Chevy van and a residual valve off a blazer thinking that the blazer would have a similar um, would have similar proportion front to rear uh, as what this truck is going to end up with so got that on and uh, oh yeah the, the 77 Chevy booster also had a, a leak had a leak in the diaphragm so it was it wasn't worth even messing with. Then uh wasn't running too good last week, so rebuilt the carburetor. And uh, I've gotten minimal amount of wiring hooked up, so I can at least start it from inside the cab. My uh, radiator leaks, so I don't know, I might put some stop leak in that. Um got to run the vacuum hose for the windshield wipers get that hooked up a little bit more on that brake system I had uh, uh, I had fabricated the bracket for the brake out of the 77 Chevy so then uh, when I went and got the 85 booster it didn't quite fit the rod, the push rod from the brake pedal into the booster was too long so I just chopped it off and uh, welded it back on like that at the right length actually made it a little bit longer than what I had the, with the 77 Chevy it was going um, all the way to the floor so I wasn't getting full stroke on that brake pedal and now I'm getting full full stroke um, you can tell the the brake switch there I had to bend the bracket out a little bit 
because the brake pedal's up off the floor a little bit farther. Still got to figure out my uh, my accelerator there. Got to get it hooked up. I need whatever the the bracket is on the back of this thing to uh, clip onto the lever. And uh, I got some of my brakes, some of my uh, brakes, some of my seat belts done here, but I don't have the center ones done. And uh, oh, we got the glass in, back glass windshield. So uh, hey, that's it. Feeling pretty good about progress on this thing, and a uh, ton more to do. But it's nice to take it out and drive it. Also, uh, when I when I turn sharply, I didn't know if the suspension. This is the suspension off the '77 Cordoba torsion bar suspension, and I didn't buy the uh, factory made cross member. We fabricated one, and I was trying to get the geometry right. Was a little worried about how that would work, and uh, as you tell, taking a sharp turn right or left, it doesn't seem to waddle waddle at all. So uh, that's a good deal. Haven't had it, of course, uh, out on the highway at 55 yet, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, uh, that's my truck. Oh, another little project. So I don't know. I could just buy a new steering wheel, but. I've uh, made a piece of walnut to patch in this broken part of the steering wheel. Take that down to the shop and finish it off, pop rivet that thing on, and have a repaired steering wheel for me. So, hey, maybe not so long till the next video I do. So, it's coming. Maybe next summer I'll have her all done, ready to go.